One of the most central and enduring theories of developmental psychology is the theory of cognitive development created by Jean Piaget. This constructivist theory relies upon the idea of an active child that is intrinsically motivated to learn. The theory is divided into four stages of development. The first stage is the sensory motor stage, which includes infants and toddlers from ages 0 to 2. During this stage of rapid growth, development of intelligence is closely tied to sensory, perceptual, and motor abilities. As children develop their motor skills, they are increasingly able to explore their surrounding environment. Essential to this stage is the development of enduring mental representations. Infants younger than 8 months old will not continue to search for an object as soon as it is hidden, suggesting that they mentally represent only objects that they are currently perceiving and lack an understanding of object permanence. By one year of age, infants do continue to search for hidden objects, but they still have fragile mental representations, as shown by the A, not B error. In this error, when infants have successfully found an object hidden at location A several times in a row, even when they see the object being hidden at location B, they will incorrectly reach for location A. By 18 months, toddlers begin to form more enduring mental representations. They gain the capacity to perform deferred imitation, in which the behavior of others is replicated minutes, hours, or even days after it originally occurred. The pre-operational stage includes children from ages 2 to 7. A key feature of this stage is the capacity to use symbolic representation, in which one object is understood to represent another object or idea. While this stage is very important for growth, children still display some major limitations in their cognition. One such limitation is egocentrism, which was exemplified by Piaget's Three Mountain Task. When asked to identify what the mountain setup would look like from the perspective of someone on the opposite side of the table, children younger than age six incorrectly choose the picture that shows their own point of view. Thinking at this stage is also limited by centration, which is defined as the tendency to focus too much on a single feature of an object. For example, if asked which side of the balance will tilt downward, children will often only consider the amount of weight on each side and will neglect the effects of the differing distances. Furthermore, children in the pre-operational stage lack an understanding of the conservation concept. In experiments testing understanding of the conservation of liquid, a child is shown two identical glasses filled to the same level, which he or she correctly identifies as containing the same amount of liquid. As the child watches, the experimenter pours the liquid from one glass into a narrower, taller glass. Now, the child will state that the taller glass has more liquid, despite having watched the experimenter the whole time. A similar phenomenon occurs when testing conservation of number. With this initial presentation, when asked which row has more, the child will tell you that they are equal in number. However, if the experimenter then spreads one row out, the child will tell you that the longer row has more. These findings related to conservation indicate an overall tendency to focus overly on the single dimension of length and to fixate on static states as opposed to dynamic ones. The concrete operational stage spans ages 7 to 12. By age 7, children understand the conservation concept and begin to reason logically. However, abstract thinking still remains difficult and children in this stage often do not perform systematic experiments. For instance, if asked to determine what factors affect the period of a simple pendulum, children will often not correctly isolate the different independent variables of weight, initial angle of release, and string length. Instead, they allow their trials to be biased by their initial opinion and often conflate two of the variables. The formal operational stage includes individuals ages 12 and older. This is the final stage of Piaget's progression, and it involves the ability to think abstractly and reason hypothetically. Unlike the first three stages, not all people reach this stage. The individuals that do reach the stage are able to perform systematic experiments to draw accurate conclusions about the world. They are also able to engage in deeper philosophical thinking about morality, truth, and alternatives to our current reality. This development has often been used to explain why adolescents frequently cultivate an interest in science fiction, which spurs its readers to think about other possible worlds in comparison to our own. This video is created by Michelle Miller for Psych 254 Developmental Psychology. Thank you for watching.